Hi everyone! Okay, today we are going to cook ginataang bilo-bilo. They call it glutinous rice balls in coconut milk. Some others say sticky rice balls in coconut milk. This is one Filipino dessert, okay, which we all love. We use it as our merienda or we eat this as our merienda or snack. Our ingredients for today, okay, I bought this morning two coconut. I asked them to squeeze so it will become coconut cream and then coconut milk that will serve as our sabaw or soup. Yan po yung gagamitin nating pang sabaw. Our tapioca pearl or sago that is 3 cups. 5 pieces banana saba. 3 pieces sweet potato or kamote. We're going to add some sugar. Okay, this one is optional. This is pandan leaf. This one I'm going to add so it will serve or it will give an aroma to our ginataang bilo-bilo our glutinous rice balls. This one actually looks like this. So it's just a malagkit powder rice. Then what we do is we add water. It will become sticky like this. Then we shape it into round okay, or balls, small balls like this. Ito na po ang ating ingredients. We're ready to cook our ginataang bilo-bilo. First thing that we are going to do, okay, in our pot, ilalagay po natin yung ating coconut milk. Makikita po natin, this is just a small amount. Magdadagdag po tayo ng konting water. 3 cups of water pa. We let this boil. Binadagdagan po natin ng, ang, ng water yung ating coconut milk. We let it boil. Okay, after that, we're going to put our sweet potato or kamote. Ngayon po, na kumukulo na yung ating coconut milk. Dadagdag naman natin ngayon yung ating kamote or sweet potato. Antayin po natin siya na kumulo ulit. We leave it for about 5 minutes para lumambot yung ating kamote. Takpan po natin para mabilis maluto. Yan po ay kumukulo na yung ating coconut milk kasama nung ating uh, kamote. Ngayon ay ilalagay na natin yung ating glutinous rice balls. Mas maganda, isa-isahin mo natin. Hindi maramihan na ilalagay kasi para hindi sila magdikit-dikit. Pagsagaan po natin ilagay para hindi sila dikit-dikit sa ating pot. We're going to put all our uh, glutinous rice balls. There. There you go. Actually, technique here, if you're doing the glutinous rice balls, is you put a little powder in the plate para hindi sila magdikit-dikit. We're waiting to put all, mix a bit, and then lalagay natin yung huling batch ng ating glutinous rice balls. glutinous rice balls is in the pot together with our sweet potato or kamote. We mix a bit and after that we leave it behind again takpan. We will boil this again for about 5 minutes. Okay, so 
you can see it's really boiling with the glutinous balls and our kamote. We're going to put our coconut cream. Yung ating kakanggata. So we're going to add in. Okay. We're going to add our pandan leaf. Also, our saging saba or banana saba. And then, last one would be our tapioca pearl. We're going to mix it all. The saba, uh, I prefer not to be overcooked or uh, I want it to be a little hard. Hindi masyadong lutong luto. I'm going to uh, cook this only for about 2 minutes more. And then we're going to add sugar. And then that's it. All our ingredients is already inside the pot. So we'll just uh, let it uh, simmer for a while. Cook the ingredients. After that, we're going to add sugar. Okay, now, we're going to add our last ingredient, that would be the sugar. Okay. So there, we're going to mix it. Then later, we're going to taste if uh, the sweetness is okay. Then we're good to go. We'll simmer this one and cook for 2 minutes more. Takpan natin para sa ganun mas madali siyang maluto. Luto na po ang ating ginataang bilo-bilo. We'll taste it at um, medyo kulang kami sa sugar. So we're going to add a little bit of sugar. Usually, for 500 kg of uh, glutinous uh, rice, yung ating uh, sugar, maybe about, we put it into one and a half cup. Depende po sa panlasa. If you want it to be more sweeter, then you can just add sugar. Okay, so ito na po yung ating ginataang bilo-bilo. We're ready to eat. Alina po kayo, kakain na po ang familia Borlaos ng ginataang bilo-bilo. Join us!